Good morning. So what I've done is unwrapped. I had the two spoon rests wrapped up in some tissue paper. So now what I'm trying to decide, I sanded them. They look really nice. I'm super happy with the finish. Now they're unsealed and I need to seal them before I paint them, which I want to do pastels is the color scheme. Basically like my shirt. Those are the colors that I'm really wanting to recreate with the paint. So I'm going to look up color mixing. But I want to do pastels. And first I got to seal it. So I did an experiment with these two pieces. And I sealed them. This one I sanded. This one I didn't. And I feel a difference. So I'm going to do that. A couple of coats of sealer. I've got a mediocre paintbrush. And I'm going to use this. Maja Podge matte finish. So that is what I'm going to do. Seal them, sand them, seal them, sand them, seal them. Maybe sand them. I don't know, but then paint them. And I think they'll be glorious. Glorious. We'll see. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take some of the sealer. Ooh. Shake. Get the film in there once the level gets low. Or er, not low, but lower. Ew. It's got a crusty seal. Okay. And I'm tempted to try this brush because this one's really streaky, but streaks kind of settle in. I'll start practicing on one of these to see the difference before I go to the spoon rest. Spoon rest. Okay, so just do it. Well. Oh, these are pretty nice. Even spread, to be honest with you. All right, let me try this one too. Kind of liking the sponge applicator, actually. Ooh. Not too terrible. Well, I kind of like that. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try the back of this. I'll do half with this thing, sponge brush. And then I'll do half with the uh, brush brush. Kind of like him. And you know where you've gotten because it changes the color of the clay that actually is leaving a really nice smooth finish this is gonna dry out really quick hmm but don't want it to So you're supposed to do a few thin coats. 
you don't want to do too much. I think I like the sponge better. I'm going to be honest with you. It was one of the things in the uh, mystery tote of craft supplies. A little low spot there. I think I like the sponge finish better than the brush. This stuff dries so fast. I think I really like the sponge better. To be honest with you. It might be nice on those stamps too for getting down in there. I don't know. though and I like the paint brush where you're able to get down in there well that got down in there There's just a ton of sealer stuck in this sponge, though, which I don't want it to eat up my products, which I am a little worried about. Boy, oh, that's already just like freaking dry, really close. Is there a difference? Well, I can see where I overlapped, so it's got two coats. So that's where I crossed the line. But it is a hair smoother. Of a, Actually, it's a lot smoother if you look. Way less brush strokes. Hmm. So I'm going to give this a light sand and then do it again. Gosh, it does make a difference. I don't know if you can tell or not. It's a lot smoother with the sponge brush than it was the regular paint brush. I feel like I have sealer still in the sponge. I don't want it to waste, so I'm just going to go over the edges, and if there's any in there, soak it out. Mm, there is some in there because I see the edges changing. Like I said, when you put the sealer on, it turns the clay like a wet gray or a wet color when it's still 
wet. So you can see where it goes on. And then it dries and it's clear. But right when you do it, it changes the color. So you can see where it looks wet. And not much in there now. But I do think I got all the way around the edges. Honestly, let's see. I can sort of tell, but as it dries more and more, I really can't tell a difference in the strokes. So, I guess it's just a matter of preference. This is nice for getting into some of these little, well, let's see. While it's still wet. How do I feel about it? Getting it well, not great actually. I don't have the resistance of the brush. This isn't in water. It needs to be soon. Let's see like that. Yeah. This works way better for the designs. For the stamps. This has got the resistance and the pressure that I need. And since it doesn't actually make a difference on the... Well, no, not really. It's a hair smoother. Barely. I can kind of tell. Not really. I'm going to give it a light sand anyway. And I really don't think it matters. Okay, I got to go outside to do that. Maybe I should do the whole thing and then give the whole piece a light sand. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so this was a nice thought. I'm going to try and save the brush. I hate to just waste it for one use. I'm not sure if it has a purpose or not. So I'm going to put it in some water. Squeeze like there was a ton. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of product in the sponge. I don't think I'm going to use it. Not when I see how much is running out. It like soaked. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that. Anyway, it was a nice thought. I set that to the side. It's going to go into the old bin. I don't like that. It came with a tote full of stuff like I said. Anyway, so, I'm going to paint. Uh, I think I'll do my edges first. Because then I can hold it like this. And it gives me a place to hold it while it's wet. And then do the top. So, I have found that doing the edges are easier when the top and the bottom are dry. That already has one coat. That's kind of nice. So, And luckily, this stuff is soap water cleanup. Not a big deal. Alright. So I'm just going to do the edges. Oh, I feel myself squinting so hard. I got to get some prescription glasses. And in the meantime, I will use the readers. near the river in the background. It's quite nice. I'm on the Deschutes River, actually, in my motor home. And it got really chilly last night. It's not time to open the windows yet. The heat can still kick on. I've got the window next to me cracked. And that's enough to cool the whole room down, actually. Oh, I didn't get in there. Get in there. Oh, low 
close, but I'm not perfect at the clay yet. And so this was my stir spoon rest. Came out pretty good. Very happy with it. But it's a learning curve. Okay. So now I'm going to go through and do... Oh, geez. I'm going to do... Yeah. The inside of all the little stamps. get that sealer really in all the little grooves and I was super worried the first time I did this I had like a tiny bit of the glue it's the sealer not glue sealer um like puddle I really want to get down in that antenna come on there we go and uh it kind of like sucks in and I didn't lose my recess at all, my impression area. So, oh, those little antennas are pretty deep. I'm gonna get down in there. You gotta work it down in. All right. This is my technique. I don't know what other people are doing. Um, I haven't really watched a lot of videos of that step. This step. And I'm finding a lot of the tutorial videos, instructional videos of the YouTube gurus, they, um, they edit a lot. <laughs> As you well know, I don't do a lot of editing. Not really into it. But, um, I sure envision y'all yeah, fast forward in through some of these sections. And that does not offend me in the least. I can't imagine every second being watched but maybe oh come on get in there so it was really 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 stressed out this morning um i think when i'm inconsistent when i take my medication it really puts me out of whack i take an estrogen blocker Apparently, my, my cancer just eats estrogen like it's candy. So, they blocked the production of my estrogen when I was diagnosed immediately. And so, I went into full-blown menopause over, like, a two-week period. It was a crazy two weeks. Um, we got fired. We had to move. We had to change our house. We had to sell our motor home. Buy a new one. It was a travel trailer at the time, actually. But it was, like, just non-stop input. And I could not have been less confident about the medical care I was getting. Um, honestly, if I went and had not... I changed. So I was going to a cancer center, cancer institute in Eugene, Oregon. And honestly, I, I felt like I wasn't going to make it till Christmas based on the feedback that I was getting. And it did not instill confidence. I didn't understand the medicines that I was on or the reasons for doing the things. And there's no responses. Well, to begin with, the first appointment that I had with this doctor, I went in there and he was like, don't ask me questions. That's what my nurse is for. Just tell her what you want to know. And I thought, man, that's not very comforting. Anyway, he let me know on the first interaction. He didn't answer questions. And I thought, God, this ain't great. Anyway, so it, it just I got slipped through the cracks quite a bit. And I was on the phone. I bet I was making 20, 30 phone calls sometimes a day to try and follow up on my appointments, prescriptions, uh, things, tests, things, stuff. They never seemed to follow through, and I had to keep calling and calling. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. I changed oncologist. I went to 
Portland, Brian, my husband, researched different cancer institutes. And I'll be honest with you, I cannot stand going to Portland. It's such a big, busy, overwhelming city. And the traffic, I mean, we drive a motor home, 27 feet. Anyway, it is my least favorite thing to do is to go into the city. But that is where you get quality medical care. So I don't really have a choice if I want to not be forgotten, slip through the cracks. They're um, blood drawing people, phlebotomists, are better. And that's a big deal. Um, they were messing me up so much down in Eugene. I got really overwhelmed. So they put this port in. Because I'm having such anxiety about the blood draws and how much they're messing me up. But the port is not going well. It still isn't healed. I had it put in April, uh, February 15th. And I tell you what, it's still not healed. And it's still aggravated. And I had a, a lumpectomy. They removed a whole section of my body, and I healed way faster. I also wasn't on the chemo pills at that time. So, that could have a lot to do with it, too, on how fast I heal. And so now I've hit all the little impressioned areas. I'm just going through where it's not the wet-looking meaning the sealer didn't get on it. I love that it changes the color of the surface for you for just a minute so you can see where you've put your sealer on and where you haven't. I'm going to go give this all a nice little white sand here in a minute and then I'm going to do it again. Nice. All right, that's all first coat. I think I don't think we missed any little spots. Okay, I'll let that dry. And this one, I did the bottom, and that does look nice. I like this spoon rest. I've got um optimism about it. I think other people will like it too. I hope so. On the fence about how much to uh, charge for these, to be honest with you. Um, I'm probably putting more time into it than I should. We're also working a learning curve, so my hands don't just know what to do. I have to sit and think about what I'm going to do for a minute. I don't know. I was thinking $12, but I don't think that's enough because of the steps and the time involved. And even if I just paint them all one color, which is a thought, because I think it'll, <clears throat> I think it'll leave um, a two-tone effect. It'll be darker in the recesses, I hope. And so I was going to start with a light color so that if I wanted to come back in, and do some more additional coloring or whatever if I'm not happy with a single tone. Because I thought about painting the different flowers and giving them some pop, 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 pop. But that's a lot of flowers and that's a lot of pop, 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 pops. It does go pretty quick with the paint pens. So, I don't know. I don't know. Did I do that one? I don't know. Do it twice. And so that's what's going on here. It is just paint sealant. I've been thinking pastels for sure. 
as far as the color scheme goes. But I'm trying to gauge how much sealer to use. Honestly, I've been thinking I could probably just squirt a little dot into each recess. That's a lot of work. It's a lot easier to dip your brush. But my little well is running dry. Let's see what that does. It might be excessive. This one. Learning where to cut the flowers is relevant too. Because I got this weird little pocket right there. It's actually the tip of a flower. Petal, whatever. And, uh, but it just looks like a hole at the edge. I really want to make sure and get that hole sealed. There we go. Okay. So, definitely quicker. But, I don't want it to dry in clumps and lumps, so I want to work fast. The stuff dries so fast. It's okay. A little thicker on the first coat inside the flowers. Because I don't sand those, actually, either. I just try to... I know when I was sanding yesterday, I'll show you here in a minute sand in the surface it just softens the edges of these stamped areas and it's actually kind of softens it up it was quite nice so bone dry awesome so both okay i did both of these front and back i'm gonna put some this in water. I don't want my brush to dry. It's already drying at the top. Oh, this water is so gluey from that sponge brush. Okay, throw that away. I need to get some paper towels, but this will work. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, I'm gonna pour this water out and throw this little sponge brush away and sand these. <clears throat> that came out nice. Bling. So, and I gotta research how to mix pastel colors and I was like I need pastel colors and I was thinking Brian said you can make any color in the world with um primary colors and well yeah actually you can so oh sorry folks um gonna go sand and 
There's the camera. Boop, boop, boop. I will be back. Okay, so this is what I did. I sanded everything like I showed you, and then I painted this heart yellow. And I painted this spoon rest many colors. I'm going to let it cure and dry overnight. I'm going to give it a light sand, and I'm going to go over it again. Um, this has got kind of a cool water painted, I don't know, watercolor looking effect. I like that. And this is the little mountain range. Whoops. I painted that. So I'm going to make that and these a magnet. These are spoon rests. But then I need to sand them and paint them again and then seal them. And that's where I'm at.